Doofenshmirtz yeah. impression. Yeah, so, so, so it, sounds, it sounds a little bit like, uh, I, I think of it as a poor man's doofenshmirtz. Because <laughs> <laughs> it didn't sound quite, so that's why I was wondering if it was you or not, because there was a little variation on Doof. But uh, I am the guy that says, uh, says um, sorry, sorry, you can't get, get through here. There's been an oil spill, as you can see. Uh, I'm, not, I'm that guy. And, and Swampy and I play some characters that are going to start popping up about four or five episodes in. And, uh, and the th thing that's different th about this show with, than Phineas is Phineas was like every episode just reset back to zero. And th this, uh, this show we've been able to do a different kind of storytelling because we, we don't have that. Phineas was sort of this, this construction that we could hang, you know, hang gags on. It was sort of like a gag tree. And, uh, and this has, as you can just tell from these two episodes, we can tell all kinds of different stories with it, just things have to go wrong. It's basically the only thing we're tied to. So we ha actually have a an epi a uh, multi multi you know, like episode arc that happens that goes through the whole first season and culminates in the in the last episode. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, let's back up real quick first okay. and, and start from the beginning. As Phineas and Ferb was winding down, talk about sort of the, the process of, of coming up with Milo Murphy and, and the idea of doing another show and, and uh, walk us through sort of the decision to, to move on to this next show. I think I was in my office uh, looking through brochures for surf holidays in Ecuador. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Dan. And I said, no, instead of that, <laughs> wouldn't it be better if we worked really, really hard for the next two years? And uh, no, we, uh, I, was, uh, I was pitching... Um, some uh, some other shows that I had had for a while to to the channel and and uh, I had part part of my deal was I had to, to had to pitch them so, uh, uh, like a certain number and they were going to pick one and I was going to make a pilot of that and then they were going to see whether they wanted to pick that up and uh, and uh, but you know before the end of the of my contract and uh, and so I had dusted off some things that I was that I was. Uh, Sort of revamping, and in revamping it, I added this character to one of the one of the pitches that was uh, that was this character that was sort of a cartoon of Noah Z. Jones, who created Fish Hooks, who's a, fr a friend of ours, and he's got you know the hair that sticks up in the middle, like, and he's always super super positive about everything, and uh, and we you see him in the morning and say, "How's your morning?" I say, "Oh, my car caught on fire." Uh, on the but freeway, on the way to the you know, so, yeah. He just always, <laughs> he always sees the positive spin on everything, and always, uh, always gets to see even the worst things that happen to him, sort of through this lens of what a funny story this will be to tell some, uh, someone sometime. And I drew this little character of what I thought, you know, like uh, Noah might be like in grade school.